Good afternoon. A very warm welcome to this fantastic uh, panel. I am personally very happy to be moderating this stellar uh, panel. Nilesh Shah, MD and CEO of Kotak Mahindra AMC. Vijay Chandok, MD and CEO of ICICI Securities. Dheera Drelli, MD and CEO of HDFC Securities. And Basant Maheshwari, a thoughtful investor who invests and writes. Uh, glad to have you on the stage here. Uh, the big question that I want to start today's afternoon with is, how does one become Rakesh Junjunwala? How does one become Warren Buffett? Because this is a question that a lot of the new age entrants, the retail investor uh, asks, and the topic of our session is the coming of age of the retail investor in India. Almost 106 million uh, DMAT accounts, 15-year uh, high participation as far as retail investors are concerned in stocks. So how does one become uh, Rakesh Junjunwala or Warren Buffett? Uh, Nilesh, I'm starting uh, with you. Siddharth Bhai, if I knew you, I would become a little bit. I would tell you a little bit. That's a good one. The same question, Vijay, to you, and then I go across the panel on the same topic. Okay, that's a serious question. Yes, that's a serious one. <laughs> so I, I wish I knew. Um, but, you know, from whatever I've heard and observed, uh, I, I think people like him and other very successful investors have got some traits which kind of cut across. I think one of them is their ability to take risk, identify trends ahead of others, stick to their conviction, have patience. Um, at least some of these traits they have displayed, but I still don't think that really makes up the man. Uh, okay. So much more than that. So much more than that. Dheeraj, the same question to you. I'll add to what uh, Vijay said. I think... Uh, if you could keep the mic closer. Yeah. Other yeah. than what Vijay said, I, I think the passion and having a heart and soul for the investment and wealth creation is something, a start point. I think after that, you have to build it over a period of time by acquiring uh, knowledge on a regular intervals and making learning as part of the uh, sense of the investing. I think that's something will add to while, you know, it's very difficult to emulate uh, Rakesh Injunwala or Warren Buffet, but you can get closer to that with these traits. Basanji, the, uh, yeah. just to follow up on Dheeraj, uh, for those two people, even if we get 0.1% closer to them, most of us in the hall, we will consider ourselves through. Go ahead. Yeah, so I think uh, Rakesh Junjunwala, if you want to be one, no financial planner will ever advise you to do what you should do to become Rakesh Junjunwala. First is, you have to have intelligence, passion, excessive risk-taking ability and huge leverage. So the moment you think of leverage, people will say, Pagal mar jayega. <laughs> so that's how you start. Warren Buffett is more of an, I think, entrepreneur than an investor. He manages people. He manages money rather. So that is possible. But And plus for Rakesh Junjunwala, you need the roll of dice to fall in your favor. That's more important. Nileji, I'm coming to you uh, because uh, many of the questions that we routinely get asked and you are also routinely asked is about uh, comparing 2022 versus 2023 from an outlook perspective as far as the retail investor is concerned. This story is very well known how millions of Indians have taken to investing. But as 2022 taught them, there is a downside also. Uh, so to address that big uh, sort of fear in the room, uh, how does a retail investor in the Indian markets protect the downside that is likely? So the only way to protect downside is through asset allocation. You follow your asset allocation strategy, take risk what you can manage, buy when things are cheaper and sell when things are expensive. Siddharth Bhai, this is very easy to say. It's easy to do it. And uh, Maybe I'll take a minute to put the lighter side and then leave it to others for serious side. There is this couplet in Mahabharat where Krishna Bhagwan goes to Duryodhan before the beginning of the epic battle and says that, why are you fighting? They are your brothers. Give five villages. And Duryodhan doesn't agree. Krishna is Bhagwan and yet he can't convince Duryodhan. Duryodhan replies to Krishna after a lot of persuasion 
जानामि धर्मम नच में प्रवृत्ति जानामि अधर्मम नच में निवृत्ति ओ लॉर्ड कृष्णा प्लीज डोंट टेल मी व्हाट इज धर्म व्हाट इज राइट आई नो एवरीथिंग बट आई कैन फॉलो इट एंड डोंट टीच मी व्हाट इज रॉन्ग व्हाट इज अधर्म आई नो इट फुल्ली वेल बट आई कैन डिजिस्ट फ्रॉम इट सो हम सब में एक दुर्योधन आज भी छिपा है वो कहता है कोला मत पियो जंक फूड मत खाओ बट हम लोग उसको फॉलो नहीं करते सेम थिंग इज इन फाइनेंस एवरी वन नोज द थ्री मंत्र ऑफ रेग्युलर इन्वेस्टमेंट लॉन्ग टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट डिसिप्लिन असेट अलोकेशन बट वो दुर्योधन पे काबू कैसे लाए सो so, जब तक दुर्योधन पे काबू नहीं आएगा तब तक आपकी वेल्थ जर्नी वैसे ही रहेगी that's a good one nilesh ji because i think for the next time this is a lesson to us we should perhaps also do a session with spiritual gurus to avoid the duryodhan when it comes to uh, investment uh, vijay uh, how does one avoid duryodhan because the point that basant also made and all of you have said intelligence and passion if i were to take up only those things intelligence is something that you are perhaps born with passion is something that you can develop uh, and if one lacks these is he ruled out of the markets so actually if you see the current context and uh, look at the bunch of uh, investors who are coming uh, so first and foremost i must tell you they are very very smart guys they are young uh, very smart guys and they are coming from not just the top city but bharat uh, second uh, they are pretty well read i think what is uh, unique about these youngsters coming to the market is i i think technology digital stuff that's been happening over the last few years has given them access they, they are i don't think you know there's something called cosmopolitan if there's a cosmopolitan world cosmopolitans i think these guys mm-hmm. may be coming from a small town but they would know what's happening globally very well connected uh, through various uh, social channels so they are not necessarily sort of they have access to data information research content uh processed uh, outcomes um so i mean if you don't have the intelligence to do it yourself there is someone who's really uh, able to do that so that access and availability is there and we've seen this kind of behavior this time of investors um i would observe that yes there is pain but there's no panic uh and i think one of the reasons why i would say that there is pain but no panic is because i think leverage and i think basant mentioned that earlier leverage in the market relatively at least in the retail side is very very low and when there is low leverage there is a relative um, sort of panic doesn't sort of creep in so uh, in in the sense uh, I, i would i would just add that uh, information is available research is available not very difficult for them to access even if you don't have that intelligence um you can access it uh, it's pretty uh, uh, lots of tools have come that's another way of you know dealing with that's a very good point the role of technology because uh, 20 years back uh, i don't know how many people would recall here the process of opening a dmat account and now look at the process of onboarding on a dmat account look at the kind of velocity of transactions that you can do using your smartphone a lot of people of the newer generation that you spoke about do that dheeraj i want to come to you and pick up the point about um, uh, the difference in the retail investor this time around because the market one of the truisms is that the market is full of cycles and we see cyclical investors also uh, of the active users on nsc we have seen a slight drop in october but it's the fifth consecutive month drop from june uh, it's uh, the last data that we have is only 36 million is that indicative of retail investor interest peaking because of the ongoing volatility or is it something else i don't think so it's peaking yet because you know the the retail investors are at signing up more and more dmat accounts so we are seeing good inflow of uh, new customer sign up across the industry so i don't think so it has peaked up i think in last 5 6 months we've seen less active monthly users uh, as compared to 1.17 crore what we had in uh, as peak customers and now it's somewhere close to 89 lakh customers in the december or november 2022 so it's just about little bit correction uh, in terms of monthly active users 
but uh, we are seeing good and more and more interest into the markets. What uh, Nilesh mentioned that when uh, other asset classes like uh, debt or gold become attractive, some bit of uh, shift happens to these kind of asset classes also. And also when there is more volatility, uh, some of the investors take their own time to participate in the market and they get a little bit more calibrated. But having said that, the financialization of uh, uh, savings as a trend is just on the cusp of even a further exponential growth. What, what, what sort of ideal equity allocation or a basket would you propose at this time? Debt versus equity versus other assets? So that this is a very generic question and there's no uh, one size fit all answer to this question. This depends on the age, risk appetite and uh, understanding of various financial instruments. So one has to really do this for a individual uh, investor and not a uh, ballpark number. But the most important thing, which, what Nilesh has also highlighted, that we should not undermine the importance of asset allocation and stick to that asset allocation discipline. So in any investment process, there are three steps. One is decision, second is execution, third is tracking. So one has to not only decide which asset classes are suitable at the time of the investment, then of course execute the same and then on a continual interval one has to track that how the portfolio is performing, whether their asset allocation is right and is aligned to the market uh, conditions or not. So it's a process, there's no uh, one size all fit solution that is available that I can recommend. That's a, that's a wonderful answer. Uh, yeah, yeah, Nilesh, please. See, you asked for trading for the trader, for the investor, that the investor is cyclical. Investor is cyclical. But the investor is never cyclical. The investor is long term. One time, the investor will do it for a long time. The trading is seasonal. It comes, 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 it comes. So trading is seasonal. Investment is long term. Trading is like flirting. Investment is like shadi. Saad janam tak aap investing ye karte rahe. That's a good one. Can I do a quick follow up before I go to Bazaar Nileji? To you itself. The sort of broader question therefore, should one invest looking at price or should you invest in a company and ignore price? So there is a philosophy buy at any price. It is called BAP. Then there is a philosophy which is growth at reasonable price, that is CARP. Then there is a philosophy which is growth philosophy. Then there is philosophy called value. Mm -hmm. So there are many things. There is no one way to nirvana. You have to do what you think is appropriate. You have to ask your as you want to ask. Precisely. But <laughs> investing, karna, trading, don't do trading. Trading is a very, very hard way to make money. India is and an easy way to lose money. Oh, for 99% of the people, it is a way to lose money. And on trading, I'll say just one thing. India's best known trader is Radha Kishan Damani ji. Wo Flame Institute Pune mein the, to kisi ne pucha ki, sir, main aapke jaisa trader banna chahta hu, kaise banu? To unhone bade pyar se kaha ki, dekh beta, maine apne bacho ke liye na DMART khola hai. Unko bhi trading nahi kara raha hu. Ab tu rehne de na bhaiya. Basan ji, I'm coming to you um, and the question is um, uh, more to sort of get your view on uh, what happened in 2022. We saw post-COVID a wave of people coming in, ghar pe baithe the, extra time tha, work from home tha and for many people there was no work either in office or home, they were laid off and we saw this surge. And they entered new age companies. The panel has told us that uh, technology, the ability to buy at a button, greater information. There are, uh, you know, uh, several dozen registered entities and several thousand unregistered Telegram, WhatsApp channels who keep offering you all manner of tips and uh, guidance. But a lot of retail investors have burned their hands very badly. New age IPOs for, is one example. Uh, have they learnt lessons and or is 2023 likely to continue to teach these new age investors harsh lessons of investing? I think losing money in the first couple of years of your entering market is normal. It's like breathing in and breathing out. We all lose money, then only we learn. 
if you don't lose money you will not learn but what has happened in 2022 2021 2020 courtesy whatsapp twitter telegram and all those uh, quick communication channels is the cycles have become compressed so everyone wants to get out of the same door everyone wants to come in through the same door aap media mein aapko jo pata chalega maximum 5 7 minute ke lag ke baad mujhe bhi pata chal jayega aaj se 20 saal pehle jo aapko pata chalta tha mere ko pata chalte chalte to bear market bottom ho ke upar hone lag jata tha so the compression of the cycle first and secondly uh, on the previous thing i think these newcomers have got a lot of intelligence they want to read they want to understand what they really lack is experience and that is why when they hear of recession and uh, i mean uh, amazon putting 18000 people off the job wo pehle aake share bechte hain कि अब तो रिसेशन आ गया खत्म हो गया फिर उनको लगता है नहीं नहीं फेड शायद उतना काटेगा नहीं फिर वो खरीदते हैं बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव एक्सपीरियंस सो व्हाट दे रीड व्हाट दे हियर दैट इज व्हाट दे परफॉर्म एंड स्टॉक मार्केट आई थिंक इज एज मच एक्सपीरियंस एज मच साइकोलॉजी अंडरस्टैंडिंग एज इट इज अबाउट इंटेलिजेंस सो दट द नेगेटिव पार्ट फॉर दिस न्यू एज ग्रुप फ्रॉम आर परस्पेक्टिव फ्रॉम अ जनरल मार्केट परस्पेक्टिव इज दे हैव कंप्रेस द साइकल्स एंड सेकेंडली द वोलेटिलिटी इज इंक्रीज थ्रू द रूफ बिकॉज हर दो मिनट पे बेचना है हर दो मिनट पे लेना सो सो इज द रिस्क एपेटाइट डिफरेंट फॉर दिस करंट क्रॉप ऑफ इन्वेस्टर्स नो दे नो रिस्क वो दो लाख की सैलरी में से बीस पच्चीस हजार रुपए डालते हैं पुट खरीद के चले जाते हैं घर वापस आ जाते हैं रिस्क तो हम लोग के लिए बनाते हैं वो <laughs> जो हमारी सारी संपत्ति लगी है स्क्रीन पे <laughs> वो तो बीस का पुट लेते हैं और वो पुट क्या कर गया हो गया दे आर प्लेइंग प्ले विद लोटो बेसिकली मोस्ट ऑफ देम एंड इज गुड फॉर ब्रोकरेज कंपनी बारात में खुश होके जो ज्यादा फायरिंग करता है दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ रिस्क दैट यू टॉकिंग अबाउट यस विजय वन एडिशनल कमेंट लॉट्स ऑफ टूल्स हैव कम एंड दीज टूल्स एनेबल यू टू एंटर इनटू अ ट्रेड विद लॉक्ड इन एपेटाइट ऑफ रिस्क सो यू नो दैट्स द मैक्स यू कैन लूज इज एक्स अमाउंट यू लॉक दैट अमाउंट इन एंड यू हिट द ट्रेड tech and you know analytics combination research all that has made it possible to make these things so i i mean to say that these guys have lost their shirt maybe a little taking it too too far i, I think they they this pain but there's no panic okay this pain there is no panic and since we sort of agree as a panel on that dilaji i'm coming to you uh, and we started this conversation it's the same question really in a different way therefore how does a retail investor in the indian markets in 2023 uh try to generate alpha okay so alpha is relative to the benchmark index your benchmark index could be much higher versus mine versus which is so please first find what is your risk appetite if you didn't buy during march 20 correction that means you are not an aggressive investor you are conservative investor so यू नो आज बोलना बहुत इजी है कि मैं तो एग्रेसिव इन्वेस्टर हूँ भैया मार्च 20 में जब अपॉर्चुनिटी तब आपने नहीं खरीदा तो यू आर नॉट एग्रेसिव मगर डिमेट अकाउंट भी नहीं था मेरे पास मैंने सोचा नहीं था बाद में पता लगा भीड़ चाल हो गई सर अब पेनल्टी गोल्ड गोल्ड मिलता है तो वहीं पे फायर करना पड़ता है आप ये बोलो मेरी स्टिक अच्छी नहीं है बॉल ठीक नहीं था वो गोल रेडी नहीं था बस वो तो अपॉर्चुनिटी गई सो वन प्लीज बी ऑनेस्ट टू योर are you conservative investor aggressive investor average investor whatever it is second what is your investment objective everyone wants to make money but making money is like birbal ke khichdi usme time lagta hai pakne ko as warren buffet mentioned so someone ask warren buffet ke bhaiya aapke liye to itni sari kitabe likh di hai logo ne to is there any secret left out to he said no there is no secret left out main jo karta hu sabko malum hai so then how come other people have not become like warren buffet so he says my style of making money is very very slow people don't have patience <laughs> so be clear why you are investing making money is not the reason you are investing you have some objective and then based on your risk appetite and objective try to build a portfolio some fixed income some equity some real estate some gold some offshore assets that portfolio should give you real return compound karte ro eventually you will make money now in 2023 uh for equity market it is more like buy on dips market if you look at from a fair value point of view with the caveat that market does not necessarily always trade at fair value in bullish sentiment it will be above fair value in bearish sentiment it will be below fair value but from a fair value point of view the entry level of nifty in 2023 and exit level of nifty in 2023 should be similar we expect 
Nifty appears to be about 1,000 rupee anywhere in calendar year 24, but more towards December 24 than Jan 24. So 18 times one year forward, 18,000 Nifty looks like a reasonable fair value number. So if markets are going to enter and exit at almost similar level, you have to make money either by picking up right stocks or by buying on the correction. But be clear about your risk appetite, have your investment goals defined, and follow a disciplined asset allocation. Ye teen kar diya, to 2023 mein aapke naiya kinare utregi. 2023 mein naiya kinare utregi. Vijay, the role of uh, discipline, and these are like fundamental questions because uh, uh, the approach is what really matters. That is what all of you are saying. What, what is the key ingredient when it comes to investment discipline according to you? Yeah, I think uh, impatience plays a very big role there. Uh, the impatience that people have uh, takes them away from discipline. Um, the desire to make a quick return, a quick buck is so deeply ingrained in uh, human behavior that the moment you see any kind of an adverse movement to your, you know, starting thesis, you start becoming nervous and come out. Now, let me <clears throat> just give you a, uh, a small instance of what happened uh, in the current year. We all talk about mutual fund SIPs doing extremely well. Hmm. Uh, but if you were to double click into this, a few quarters back, SIP was in the ballpark of about 10,000 uh, crores a month. Today, it's about 13,000 crores a month. And uh, when you double click and look at the number of folios that we're actually contributing to a 10,000 crore monthly run rate versus a uh, 13,000 current monthly run rate. You will find a very interesting uh, insight there. The number of folios have actually come down in, in relative numbers. What it seems to suggest is that the smaller retail investor has sort of got a little worried about a tepid performance or an adverse performance or a market correction, and he's just stopped. Uh, investing. Uh, the, the more seasoned, you know, heavy duty investor has actually increased allocation. So this clearly points out to the fact that discipline, I mean, the, the systematic investment discipline, uh, if it doesn't match with your thesis, there is nervousness. So I think, uh, I, uh, you know, the point that was uh, highlighted by uh, Nilesh that you, you, you've got to first understand your objective, understand your risk appetite, commit yourself to that risk appetite, commit yourself to your objective. Uh, and then stay completely resolute to uh, to the process uh, rather than getting very nervous with every reaction that happens in the market. You have to understand market will show its colors of ups and downs and you've got to take it in your stride. Absolutely. Taking it in the uh, stride is very important. Dheeraj, um, whenever the economy is a bit uh, tricky, uh, investors take a mode of, you know, uh, it's either flight or fight kind of mode. The economy is a bit tricky, more so globally than in India. The message for the Indian economy is far more robust. And if you take a medium to long term view, even better. Uh, does a tricky economy, in your view, make for a good time to invest? If this, question is, in the context of the, if this question is in the context of retail investors, my answer to that is that retail investors do not pay so much cognizance to the macro environment, they are more focused on the uh, bottom-up opportunities. And that's where they are spending more time, particularly Gen Z, millennials, they are spending more time in spotting the opportunities. And Basant mentioned that the information arbitrage that was there with the institutional investors is no more their privilege. And now through the social media, the excess of information is available in fraction of minutes to all uh, investors. That's where they are looking forward to the bottom-up opportunities. So they are not paying so much cognizance to the uh, macro environment. M more so, if at all there is discussion, it's all discussion in the more dinner get-togethers and more intellectual conversations and nothing more than that. We are seeing that there is enhanced interest of the retail investor in the markets. And that's get, that gets reflected through the number of folios, number of investors that are participating in the markets. Uh, Vijay just mentioned about the number of folios. Let me add that few data point to that. Today we have in the mutual fund industry uh, almost 14.8 crore folios. 
this number used to be somewhere close to 10 crore a year a year and a half ago so it's moved to almost 40% what we have seen in the uh, kind of accumulated number in the last 25 30 years so that's the kind of pace we are seeing and uh, with the grow, growing awareness i think the people are increasing their ticket sizes in the investment also so retail investors per se have demonstrated more resilience than i think even the more institutional investors okay uh, uh, basant on the same point with a slightly uh, sort of added question does it also mean that domestic institutions have now sort of finally come of age vis-a-vis -vis foreign uh, institutions in being participants and in a way holding up the markets yeah absolutely because uh, 2008 i think the foreigners sold about 60 70000 crores and the market fell 60% and this time we've just held it on but i have a different view on this i think domestic institutions and nilesh bhai is uh, at the forefront of it ye bazaar bachate hain ye bazaar banate nahi hain ye circuit mar ke nahi lete hain circuit mar ke fii leta hai 5% upar 10% upar le lo so domestic institutions give you a very cushion a shock absorber effect and that is because it's the retail guy who puts in money on behalf of so many of them but i think over a, on a longer context ek saal do saal teen saal moment people figure out that gold is only a dollar asset basically if dollar goes up 3 and a half percent every year against the rupee that's what you you're going to make in gold over the very long period of time because itna inflation aa gaya sona ka dam to us hisab se kuch bada hi nahi actually if you look at it so i think the shift will come and they will come and the domestic institutions are there for us but i think we the domestic guys saved us this time compared to 2008 2009 at that time i mean the markets were falling nine pins and nobody knew what's happening but this time the support is there and now think of it that once the fed starts cutting rates now we can debate whether it's six months one year two years and when the fii has come to buy stocks share kahan hai yahan pe शेयर का नीलेश जी आत्मनिर्भर मार्केट भारत आत्मनिर्भर है आत्मनिर्भर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कर रहे हैं इसलिए मार्केट्स भी आत्मनिर्भर हो गए इंडिया के सो वन इट्स नॉट दैट वी आर अगेंस्ट फॉरेन पोर्टफोलियो इन्वेस्टर्स इफ शेयर प्राइस गोज अप दे मेक मनी वी विल मेक मनी सो द ब्रेड इज बटर्ड फॉर अस ऑन द सेम साइड वी आर नॉट ऑन ऑपोजिट साइड second as basant bhai mentioned we also invest to make money now in march 20 fpis were coming and telling the broker 10 lakh reliance bechna hai they were not putting price limit wo broker hame phone karta tha sir 2 lakh reliance bechna hai lena hai hame bhi uski baaton pe se lagta tha ki nahi boss ye to tentative hai bola 50000 le sakte hai but thoda niche milega to dekhenge now we were able to play a kabaddi match with foreign portfolio investors and because they had not put price limit we could bring markets down and continue to buy jab unki selling attack gayi market bounced back but come october 21 those guys had also become smarter now they were saying 10 lakh reliance bechna hai but at this price so it's a game of kabaddi sometimes they win sometimes we win but both of us are playing on the same side बट कबड्डी खेल तो इंडिया का है ना हाँ सो होपफुली हम उनकी टांग खींचने में थोड़े ज्यादा माहिर होंगे बिकॉज दे डोंट नो दिस गेम एज वेल बट देर इज अ बिग फंडामेंटल चेंज हैपनिंग इन मार्केट एंड दिस इज कूडोस टू म्यूचुअल फंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स हु हैव हाईलाइटेड दिस बाइंग ऑन करेक्शन एस आई पी काइंड ऑफ वैल्यूज टू इन्वेस्टर्स अर्लियर वेन एवर देर वॉज करेक्शन we used to do conference call and go out to meet investors and say that there is correction don't worry now when there is correction they call us saying nilesh bhai darna mat hum log paise bhej rahe kharidte rehna <laughs> so game itna change ho gaya hai and you look at the behavior from march 20 in a rising market it is sip of 10 12 13 000 crore minus redemptions hmm. so i have to invest only 1000 2000 3000 crore in a rising market in a falling market it is sip plus subscription so 13000 crore plus 10000 crore 23000 crore this is the first time in life when i am getting money when i want to buy and i am getting less money when i am not that much interested in buying hmm. this is all thanks to mutual fund distributors who have popularized this concept of sip regular investment buy on correction sip top up and as long as this maturity with investors and distributors is there 
I think we will continue to play a role of shock absorber in FPI. A, a round of applause for the distributors because, you know, uh, they are hardly celebrated. They are the real backbone of the industry. Vijay, you wanted to come in on this point? Dheeraj, both. No, yes, no, absolutely. I, That's why. I, I just wanted to add, you know, to respond to both the observations. Um, shock absorber currently, yes. But just imagine. I don't think too many people imagined that this was would have been possible. You know, when FIAs are selling... Markets are holding as a concept probably has happened for the first time in our living experience. Um, if the momentum continues the way it is continuing and there are no reasons to say it should not, and the structural undertone is pretty strong, I think it's a matter of time where even the domestics will probably start punching uh, in a way that you know they start creating the circuits. Basant said that is not yet seen. Like he said, they need the money at the point in time when the markets are up. Uh, I think that scenario will evolve. It's a matter of time before it happens. Uh, just one quick point, Dheeraj, before you come in on this. Uh, Vijay, how much of um, the, uh, this would you attribute to greater trust that your industry has managed to create? Because I'm uh, looking back when I started, you used to see headlines around a scam. I, I broke one scam story um, uh, and one doesn't get to do that at all. The markets have improved, technology, Aadhaar, everything is practically at a touch of a button. KYC is wonderful, video KYC. Many countries, advanced economies can't even dream of doing all of that. How much of uh, trust is also uh, responsible for this? No, no, pretty much. I think this is a game of trust as long as people believe that you know their hard-earned money is put, that is getting put to work is in safe uh, sort of zone. Uh, they will continue to put uh, money and I think the regulatory sort of mechanism that has uh, continuously kept evolving over the years is to be complemented for, you know, achieving this kind of an uh, outcome. Systematically, we've seen, you know, number of regulations coming under two themes. One is what are the bunch of things that we can do to prevent mis-selling? I think all the incent incenting to mis-selling has been systematically eliminated. And the whole set of regulations has, uh, that have come have ensured that mis-selling is, you know, tending to zero, literally. Um, and second is, what can I do to reduce systemic risk? You know, so a bunch of regulations which have come, which have uh, uh, ensured that the money in motion, so to speak, and the securities in motion are moving through safe quarters. And, you know, you, you don't suddenly figure out that while the money is in motion, suddenly disappears in between or securities in motion disappears in between, particularly in a digital world. And plus, I think a, a bunch of uh, regulations on the funds itself, you know, what kind of discipline is to be instilled, it's, it's, uh, on the one side it may sound pretty onerous for the fund, but I think it is ensured that the trust factor, which is the core fabric of continuous supply, uh, keeps getting built. The same question to Dheeraj and maybe if you could also dwell for the benefit of our viewers and audience here on the role of taxation also to keep uh, the sector alive and kicking. Before I talk about uh, taxation, uh, let me just add few more enablers to what Vijay mentioned and you mentioned the trust. I think other than the trust, uh, there are enablers like efficiency. And just to substantiate my point, tomorrow onwards, I think 27th onwards, we will be moving to T plus one settlement. Other than the China, we will be the second large country uh, in the world to move to T plus one settlement, which will make markets more and more efficient also. So uh, trust, uh, efficiency, and also ease of doing business. I think these are big enablers that's, that, that has added more confidence for the uh, investors and participation of the investors. Uh, I think uh, we need risk capital for sure as an India to grow to next level. Uh, for that, we need to incentivize the uh, taxation on equities for sure. Uh, I am strongly in favor of, you know, having a better taxation for equities and particularly long-term capital gains because we pay STT already at the time of executing the transaction. It's a double taxation. It makes no sense to have a long-term capital gain tax uh, on this thing. And it wasn't there. It was introduced very recently again. So that's something I think in the business today, uh, uh, Vijay has covered a very nicely on, on taxation. I would recommend everyone to read that article and I completely endorse the recommendations made by Vijay. So I, I think there is, a uh, there is a need for us to re-look at the taxation and make equity as more attractive 
investable option and uh, particularly make it at par with the uh, insurance and other instruments also uh, basan ji i'll come to you because in the remaining 10 minutes i want to take it, uh, one broad theme but nilesh ji on the issue of uh, tax policy just a couple of months back uh, one of the senior most uh, finance ministry officials told us uh, and we reported that as well that the thinking in the government is that there shouldn't be any arbitrage and then there was detail into how there is differential tax treatment there is the likelihood of a sort of policy approach being announced rather than a step being announced in the budget in a few days from now regardless of what is done what do you personally see should be done in the medium term so we believe there should be level playing field a person should not be taking an investment decision based on the tax concession offered let the choice be on a zero arbitrage level playing field but on capital gain tax i want to recommend finance minister to plug the loopholes i am a retired chartered accountant because i have never practiced in my life but despite that i can think of four or five things in which tax is being lost so the first one is people convert interest income into capital gain through listed zero coupon debentures this is 1 lakh crore market a 10% interest conversion and 25% tax arbitrage that's 2500 crore for given all you need to pass is a regulation that debenture is debenture and whatever they pay should be treated as interest and you can't convert that into capital gain the second thing is ulip arbitrage when you switch in my debt scheme to equity scheme back to another equity scheme or debt scheme you pay tax at every level in ulip you don't pay tax till maturity it's a 6 lakh crore industry assuming 30% switch is 1 lakh 80000 crore assuming 10% income on that 18000 crore assuming 20% taxation at 3600 crore the third thing is uh, related to uh, different uh, you know maturities in equity one year becomes long term capital gain now how can you say long term is one year in equity we talk about five year and seven year real estate is two year debenture is three year mutual fund is three year can we have just one standard definition of long term if you do that what is considered short term capital gain you know what is today long term will become short term and you will get higher taxes then there is stt we are probably the only country which doesn't differentiate between trading and investing we have same stt for delivery versus in fno now we must remember that there is no future in future an option for most of the ordinary traders so why can't we increase stt on fno so that there is some amount of deterrence and let there be lesser stt on cash delivery yes. finally there is a cottage industry called sme exchange wahan pe aapka pura capital gain ka tax planning hota hai you can know what will be the price of sme stocks after one year now these are all the loopholes which needs to be plugged and this is coming from a person who hasn't practiced accountancy in his life <laughs> now imagine all the other chartered accountants how many loopholes they'll be able to plug but i can guarantee that they'll raise more capital gain by listening to them then <laughs> increasing the rate well there's clearly a nice suggestion from you and maybe a separate chapter uh, in the finance bill on capital markets taxation the indication seems to be that some sort of policy approach will come through but as we uh, are in the last 5 6 minutes of the conversation uh basanti i'm coming to you uh, the search for stock ideas i'm sure whenever you are in a airport or a hotel or even maybe somewhere else you are asked sab ek idea de dijiye i don't want ideas but for the newbie investor who has so much more information uh, available than was 10 20 30 years back what does the search for stock ideas involve I mean for a new guy who's starting he should not try and find the next bajaj finance the next ultra tech and the next infosys because wo next hota nahi hai that's another wo cliche hai but more often than not he can figure it out but wo exit nahi milega wo sab abhimanyu ban jate hain udhar so even uh, i mean uh, 
आई कैन से इट इट्स नॉट अ रिकमेंडेशन इट्स जस्ट फॉर इलस्ट्रेशन पर्पजेज आप चार स्टॉक ले लीजिए वन इज कोटेक बैंक नीलेष जी वुड एंड रिकमेंड ऑन डैट आप अल्ट्रा टेक ले लीजिए आप बजाज फाइनेंस ले लीजिए आप डी मार्ट मत लीजिए क्योंकि पी ए बहुत ही एस्ट्रोनॉमिकली ज्यादा है हाँ। ये तीन स्टॉक आप सारी दुनिया का सारे अपना पैसा डाल के सो जाइए और सोचिए कि अब आप किसी को बोलेंगे तो ही वुड से अगर अल्ट्रा टेक बंद हो गया तो अगर बजाज फाइनेंस अब बजाज फाइनेंस बंद हो गया तो आपके घर के आगे आप निकल नहीं पाओगे पुलिस लगी रहेगी सो दीज आर सच कंपनीज विच यू कैन बाय एंड होल्ड एंड स्टिल मेक फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन परसेंट सी ए जी आर यू डोंट नीड एनी म्यूचुअल फंड यू डोंट नीड एनी पी एम एस यू डोंट नीड एनी इन्वेस्टर यू डोंट नीड एनी राकेश झुंझुन वाला बट यू विल नॉट बिकम अ राकेश झुंझुन वाला दैट्स द प्रॉब्लम सो दीज आर बेसिक बिग टिकट इन्वेस्टमेंट विच एनी बडी कैन डू एंड एवरीबडी शुड डू बट वो करते नहीं है वो अगर कोफोर्ज में काम करेगा तो वो सोचेगा मैं फर्स्ट सोर्स देख लू जरा कैसा है वो अगर कहीं और काम करेगा तो कुछ और देखेगा सो आई मीन डेंटिस्ट विल लुक एट सीमेंट कंपनीज एंड सीमेंट कंपनी विल लुक एट प्रॉब्ली बायोटेक कंपनीज तो ये प्रॉब्लम है बट बिग टिकट इन्वेस्टिंग बिकॉज नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट पीपल सिद्धार्थ इन दिस मार्केट कम ये टू बीट बैंक एफ डी एंड इन्फ्लेशन बट उनको पता नहीं चलता करते करते कि वो कर क्या रहे हैं उनका टारगेट होता है बैंक एफ डी बीट करना तभी वो मार्केट में आए हैं बट वंस यू एंटर द मार्केट देन यू वॉन्ट टू डबल इट अप इन सिक्स मंथ्स इट डजेंट हैपन एंड दैट्स वाई वी लूज मनी एंड जस्ट वन फाइनल पॉइंट आई वुड से वट इज रियली चेंज इन द सोशल थिंग लास्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स सो वेन आई स्टार्ट इन्वेस्टिंग थर्टी ईयर्स बैक इन कॉलेज इन कैलकट आई डोट नो हाउ द थिंग वॉज इन बॉम्बे इन अदर पार्ट ऑफ गुजरात सो इफ यू टोल्ड एनी बड़ी कि मैं स्टॉक मार्केट में हूँ करता हूँ थोड़ा बहुत दे वुड लुक एट यू विट कंटेम्प्ट तू शेयर बाजार करता है But things have changed now because people can't discuss stock markets in parties with elders, with youngsters, with friends, with relatives, with newcomers, with strangers, and nobody frowns and says, "What? You are in the stock market?" But thirty years back, if you were in the stock market, it was a perfect recipe for someone to walk up to your dad and says, "Tera paise samal ke rakhna hai se." Our, our country is changing. Dheeraj, the same point to you, and uh, then Vijay, and then finally Nilesh. I think there, there are. Uh, easy names that are available like vasan said but other than that passive funds is a better opportunity if you do not understand the market just invest into the index fund etfs and uh, that's that's the best way to do it if you get a regular income sip if you have a lump sum money put it into liquid funds and do an stp that will work for you these are easy and simple formulas for wealth creation but as vasan said that people do not follow simple easy proven formulas they try to be a superheroes or superwomens and that's where they end up losing lot of money vijay <laughs> yeah i think this year is going to be a, a slightly difficult year for equities uh, uh, i think there was a mention of where we believe nifty could go uh, our house views we probably would see a slight increase in nifty by the end of this year uh, closer to maybe 20000 so nothing much really at a headline level but the themes that we believe uh, could be interesting for the for the year would be uh, in our view uh, con- uh, discretionary consumption that is one theme that we we, we like uh, as a house uh, banks private banks as a theme we like um, some internet companies have been correct values have corrected very sharply so there could be interesting finds there uh, and um, capex related manufacturing Uh, you know that's another theme that uh, we could find some good uh, up but this is something which looks topical just now uh, this obviously needs to keep getting evaluated through the I, i'm i'm glad you mentioned uh, internet companies because vijay shekhar sharma just a few days back at davos uh, told us i was interviewing him uh, that they will turn profitable in september that was the first time that he's uh, spoken about that nilesh as we wind down this uh, same final question to you also for your perspective so my recommendation is that just follow the process be a long term investor be a regular investor and please 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 have disciplined asset allocation and if you can't do this then there is a product called asset allocator fund our asset allocator fund is up about four times in 10 years if you haven't multiplied your wealth like that then just accept the thing humbly and invest in asset allocation fund let the fund manager manage your money can i can i uh, end this by saying that what you have said if i describe it in my words lalach buri bala hai <laughs> lalach buri bala hai wo to siddharth par sahi hai ha. but usse bhi badi ek buri bala hai wo bhai hai <laughs> the greed it is and... not just the greed it is also the fear 
एंड ऐसा नहीं है कि हमें डर नहीं लगता हमें तीस साल मार्केट में निकालने के बाद भी डर लगता है और जब ज्यादा ऊंचाई पे होते हैं तब डर थोड़ा हाँ बट हमारा डर ऊंचाई का आता है नीचाई का नहीं आता दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन आई 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 कुड टेक इट फॉरवर्ड बाई से डर के आगे जीत है बट समी से नहीं जीत नहीं है उसके आगे और दर्द है बट बट दिस इज दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी कुड कंटिन्यू डिस्कसिंग बट द बॉटम लाइन यू हैव हर्ड फ्रॉम फोर ऑफ द बेस्ट प्रोज इन द इंडियन मार्केट्स अबाउट इन्वेस्टिंग एंड स्पेशली इफ यू आर अ न्यू इन्वेस्टर वेलकम टू द मार्केट्स बट ट्रेड विद कॉशन मेंटल कंपोजर कामनेस नॉलेज and faith and patience is perhaps uh, the best way to become the next warren buffett or rakesh jindunal thank you very much to the entire panel and you the viewer round of applause for them